This is now section four, the information and technology dimension of the supplier management practice. There will be three questions in the exam from this topic. The questions will be a mix of the Bloom's level two and Bloom's level three, meaning the understanding type and the application type questions. The tool questions, meaning the automation tool questions will be at the understanding level, Bloom's level two, and the automation recommendation questions will be at Bloom's level three, the application level. Now, we do not know whether all the questions from the will be from the tools or from the automation recommendation or a mix of the two. So this is the exam syllabus in line with what I just mentioned on the previous slide, the tools to be understood and the, the recommendations on automation. And this section is about how the information and technology dimension of service management supports and enables the supplier management practice. Automation has been a buzzword uh, since many years and it's kind of become the norm. It's not new anymore. And But wherever it is possible and effective for certain benefits, then the following solutions may be applied in the form of certain tools, uh, which are usually software tools or applications. And these are the various uh, category of automation tools that we see here. Uh, we have the monitoring and event management tools, which is interesting as to how that can be applied in supplier management. Then we have the workflow management and collaboration tools, which are usually the ticketing and communication tools. Then the knowledge management tools, um, usually straightforward to understand the workflow and the knowledge management. Then we have the work planning and prioritization, uh, analysis and reporting, survey tools, and supplier management tools. So let's go and check out what these really do. The first one, the monitoring and event management tools, um, such tools usually or normally they facilitate the monitoring of the IT infrastructure and uh, allow the organization's uh, personnel to take actions to keep the operations uh, running normally and minimize the disruptions to the operations. And uh, how we can use that for supply and management in particular would be interesting to know here. If you look at the text here, uh, the application in supplier management is as follows. The integrated tool sets ensure consistent environment management across internal and third party supplier providers. Now the practice guide does not explain what this really means. So it is up to us to interpret this, but usually what this would mean is um, the 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 MEM, the monitoring event management tool, is mainly for the consistent environment management. For the exam, I would highly recommend that you remember the word consistent. So for example, um, it can be for the consistent performance of suppliers and the components also, because the alerts from the monitoring tools can indicate certain issues relevant to specific suppliers, and which can be the indicator of the risks to the supplier environment, in the supplier or emerging from the supplier environment. The, it can also be an indicator, those alerts that is maybe an indicator of, uh, or the events uh, from the monitoring tools can indicate uh, how sustainable the supplier would be in the longer run or medium term. And also uh, whether the relationships need to be uh, improved or is that going on or, or can be just maintained as is based on the supplier's performance. So that's how uh, this uh, tool can be utilized. Then we also have the workflow management and collaboration. These are the usual tools where work can be performed. Certain tasks can be um, uh, moved through uh, the workflow, for example, certain approvals, et cetera. So it's part particularly, we see the text here as follows, communicating between specialists involved in service management activities, uh, integrating practices into service value streams, a seamless integration in the CM environments across service providers. Essentially, it allows multiple uh, suppliers and their personnel to work with each other in a highly collaborative manner on, um, for example, in on incidents or changes or releases, deployments, um, working on problems and so on. Because uh, all these together, uh, the combination of practices uh, create value streams uh, for the customers. Then we have the knowledge management tools that is also straightforward. It's uh, essentially a central knowledge database to ensure consistent and continually improving the environment management. Uh, essentially knowledge management tools uh, capture all the information rele relevant to supplier management. Uh, any kind of artifact 
uh, connected with supplier management will be here. Uh, however, the specific uh, more important purpose here is to um, have information that would facilitate improvement of the supplier environment, meaning the overall, uh, which can ensure uh, information that can be useful for people to apply and they can be trained, uh, personnel can be trained based on the information to follow specific procedures and that will lead to consistent performance of uh, suppliers. Then we have the work planning and prioritization tools. Uh, this is mainly for planning and tracking improvement initiatives. Uh, that's uh, also straightforward. It can um, help to assign activities to certain people. And uh, then we have the analysis and reporting tools, uh, which can help for measurement and reporting on the supplier KPIs. Not to forget that it can also help in analysis. Uh, so for example, uh, um, root cause analysis of a certain issue and uh, the KPIs and metrics means uh, it can be useful. Uh, this tool can be useful for understanding the supplier's performance, uh, whether that is in line with the KPIs and SLAs or not. Yes. So note the subtle difference between the, the analysis and reporting tools versus the monitoring and event management. The monitoring and event management uh, can ensure the consistent environment management across uh, suppliers. So what that essentially means, uh, I mentioned earlier, is uh, uh, the alerts and the events from the monitoring tools can indicate certain issues with specific suppliers, whether their performance is getting downgraded. It can indicate uh, certain risks with a specific supplier, uh, and uh, that can indicate whether a supplier performance uh, will be sustainable or not. And uh, based on the, the relationship aspects can be improved. Uh, like performance feedback, uh, particularly from a relationship management perspective. Whereas here, the uh, the analysis and reporting is more about measurement and reporting, and uh, therefore it's about understanding the supplier's performance based on the KPIs and SLAs being tracked and reported. Then we have uh, the next one that is survey tools. This is also straightforward. It's about performing market research on available capabilities and cost. The organization can send out a survey to various potential suppliers or other consulting organizations to get some feedback and uh, collect feedback for the practice and supplier improvement. So this can be, again, surveys to various stakeholders. Then the supplier management tools. Uh, uh, these are uh, mainly used for... Uh, uh, as we read here first, the text here, managing the sourcing process from RFX to contracting, the end-to-end -end process, maintaining supplier contractual elements, key metrics, KPIs, and innovation goals, updating with operational data, which then informs strategic relationship decisions. So what does it really mean? Uh, so this can be useful, for example, to compare suppliers. Uh, for example, how is the quality difference between various suppliers? How are their pricing? What are their capabilities, et cetera? 